Good evening, friends. I am pleased to announce, as I did this past Sunday in worship, that we are reopening the sanctuary for in-person worship on Sunday, October 11th. Now, it's going to be different. We are still doing everything in our power to love the most vulnerable among us, to love our neighbors who we may not even meet, and to, as much as is possible, prevent the asymptomatic spread of COVID-19. And so we will be practicing social distancing and therefore attendance will be limited in the sanctuary. On that basis, reservations are encouraged and can be made by going to the church website and clicking the attend button. That will take you to a sign up form that allows you to reserve your spot for worship. Services will continue to be broadcast on YouTube for those who cannot attend in person. And the technical team has done a wonderful job in creating an experience that will allow us to worship together, whether at home via YouTube or present in the sanctuary. Before sharing anything else, I need to say thank you to the reopening task force led by Mike Havel, to the medical task force led by Dr. Sheila Chalapa, to our session, to the MPC staff, and finally to the technical team that have worked over the last several months to make this moment possible. If you're returning to worship with us, we do ask that you wear a mask. If you do not have one, we will have one for you at the door that you can take with you. We will practice social distancing at all times while in the building. You should screen yourself. You should check your own health. And if any member of your family is not feeling well, you should attend the service virtually. We will have contactless temperature screenings happening at the entrance to the building. Sadly, Pew Bibles will not be available. And so we do ask you to bring your own Bible from home. If you don't have a Bible, I would love to give you one. And finally, we will be asking you not to sing while present in the sanctuary. The research is beginning to suggest that singing would put us at a higher risk to aerosol spread of the virus. We look forward to worshiping together this Sunday, whether online or in person. And I have to say personally that I am so looking forward to worshiping with you if you're able to join us back in person.